Meu tênis. My Mary got a ball. My Mary got a ball. My Mary's having a ball with her ball. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Sit, Milton. Good boy. Good boy. Look at my Maddie girl smiling with her ball. Mommy, get that ball. What you do with that ball, Maddie? Oh, well, she's running away. Morning, guys. How are you doing? It is a bright, sunny day, and I feel great. Like, I'm up, I'm Adam, I'm ready to go, and you know what that means? I need a mm, zip fizz. Oh, blueberry raspberry is a classic. And you know, I feel like a lot of people say blue raspberry, but you guys, you're missing an extra berry at the end of it. Clearly printed on the label, it says blueberry raspberry. Okay, get your life together. Uh, I am excited about this, so let's get shaking today. Get my bottle opener. All right, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To accountability August, to hashtag accountability August. Oh, oh, this is one of my favorites. I should really do a definitive list again. Like, I feel like at first we knew and then they all kind of got jumbled up over the past couple months. I need to rank these again, but this is definitely one of my favorites. What is your favorite flavor of Zip Fizz? Comment down below. Like, have I ever even taken that poll before? Like, I want to know what you guys love because you know I'm here for the pink lemonade, the berry, the peach mango, the blueberry raspberry. Like, there are so many good flavors. Woo! Let go! Okay guys, I just got finished in the gym. Like for some reason, the thought of walking on the incline treadmill like filled me with so much dread that I was like, I can't even do this today. Like I honestly didn't even want to go in, but I'm glad I went in to Planet Fitness. I ended up just doing the uh, stationary bike for 30 minutes. Like I just popped on some tunes. I did a relatively easy level, like level five, just going random hills and things like that. Today wasn't about intensity, it was about moving because I did not want to do that. So I'm really proud. I ended up doing like seven and a half miles, like burned 250 calories. It was really good for 35 minutes. It's like, just get there and get moving and you always feel better once you get into it. Like the hardest part is, is getting to the gym and in those doors. But once you're there, like it always turns out the way you want it to. This week for meal prep, I am sticking with like uh, OMAD, like a two hour or less eating window. I'm probably gonna shorten it to, you know, even less than that coming up. It's just that sometimes between drinking my Bulletproof coffee and eating, like when I drink my coffee, I'm not really hungry, so I wait for a while. So I'm not sure how I am going to integrate all of that into my meal prep for this week. Um, speaking of meal prep, I am having those hamburgers again, like the exact same way. Hamburger, onion, jalapeno, mustard, mayo, hot sauce, lettuce, like it was oh, American cheese, first of all. So it was just so good that I knew that I wanted that exact same thing again. And then also guys, guess what I want this week? Eggs, what, who am I, what? I've had eggs in like months, but I really wanted eggs and I want sausage for some reason, not like sausage, but like uh, kielbasa. So I'm going to Costco to pick up uh, those items. I don't know how much of the eggs or the kielbasa I'm gonna have. Uh, I just have to like calculate that into my macros, but I'm feeling good today. I have a super busy day ahead as usual. Uh, I actually went to Meyer yesterday to just pick up some things. Uh, so I don't really have to go today and I'm really excited about that. So like, let's go to Costco and let's get this done.
Okay guys, I am pausing meal prep real quick to have my one and only meal of the day. Look at that, I got some sausage, I got some eggs, and I got bacon. Oh my God, that is a breakfast right there. And then I'm just gonna have these uh, Quest chips and then I will probably have some Jell-O and Azevia and, and like this is it. I mean, this is five grams of carbs, you know, each of these is probably, I mean, there's, there's probably 10 grams of carbs on this plate between the meat, the bacon, and the eggs. So like, I'm totally great with this. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'm probably gonna go to the shop so that I can get back, and then I'm gonna finish meal prep, and I will show you later. Okay guys, I decided to go ahead and knock out the hamburgers and finish up meal prep before I head to the shop. When I make hamburgers on my grill pan, like it gets smoky AF in here. Like I'm always having all the doors open, worried like about setting the smoke alarm off. Is that normal? Like, or am I tripping? Like, is there a way to combat smoke when you are making like hamburgers on the grill pan? Or like, I mean, cause if it was that smoky outside, I don't think I'd be concerned, right? So is it like, that's what happens when you make hamburgers? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I am like always open for suggestions. I am an expert by no means. So that being said, I am going to head to the shop. Let stuff cool down. I cannot wait to show it to you. See you when I get back. All right guys, I am back. Let's see what we have for meal prep. So I'm gonna start my day off with some Zip Fizz, not pictured, um, but then my first meal or what I'm gonna break my fast with is actually a cold brew coffee. Um, so this is cold brew right here and I'm gonna mix it with that cashew milk heavy cream and that preferred keto collagen powder. So I'm gonna make a cold drink. Then my first meal is going to be really simple, just eggs and sausage. like three eggs and a half tablespoon of butter and five ounces of sausage. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Uh, and then I'm gonna have that burger again. So I'm gonna have a bunless burger with some lettuce covered in bacon, mayo, mustard, cheese, onion, jalapeno, woo! And then for dessert, I'm gonna have Jello and Zevia. All this comes up to about 1600 calories. I added some more sausage in there just because I knew I wanted to put a larger focus on exercising this week. So I didn't mind upping my calories by a little bit to keep me satisfied. All right, that is it. I am going to chill and put everything away. Today has been an awesome, busy, productive, but overall fun day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.